For the Beaver Radio Network, I'm Kelly Schultz. Joining me from the BSU women's hockey team is Carly Essie, a junior defender out of Cloquet, Minnesota. And Carly, uh, being on defense this year, playing alongside a freshman, what's it been like for you? It's been awesome. I mean, it's always fun playing with new girls, and she's really stepped into her role, so it's been a good time playing with Lisa. Well, your team's coming off of a great first half. Um, 2015 was an awesome year for your team as a whole, coming off of last season and then this last half. For you as a junior and upperclassman, what's it been like being part of such a historical season? It's been unreal. I mean, it's games that I'm never going to forget and teammates that I'll never forget. And hopefully we can keep going for this year and make it memorable. Your team's coming off of a very long break. Uh, one month since you're, you've played um, you guys need that break? I think so. I mean, it gets long, and I think it makes us even better now. We're going to be ready to go, and we're hungry to play games. How does the SC family celebrate the holidays? A lot of hockey. <laughs> A lot of hockey over break. What was your favorite uh, gift that you got for Christmas? Probably Nikes. Nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. New tennis shoes are always good. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, your team's ranked number six coming into the second half talk hockey back to the grind here this week against Lindenwood I know last year they beat you guys in that first game to open up 2015 and uh, obviously this year things are a little bit different for your team as you guys are up there in the rankings do you pay that close attention to a non-conference game um yeah I think every game we have to take hard I mean they just went into Mankato and they played well and they've also played games that we haven't yet so I think we're gonna have to be ready to go definitely your defense is going to be without one of your keys. Even Abilic still over in Germany with the Four Nation or the Nations Cup with Team Canada. Um, how do you guys fill a spot like that? I mean, it's definitely hard to fill a spot like that. She's such a key player in every aspect of the game. But hopefully, people will step up and play different roles and show their abilities. You've got two players on your team this year that are part of their national teams. What's it been like just to play alongside Eva and Steph? I mean, it's been awesome. They make everyone better in practice, and it helps everyone out. So it's really cool. What kind of New Year's resolution did you set? Um, I to be more offensive, to contribute offensively. And as a team, what do you guys need to do to get off to a good start here? I think we just need to play together as a team and keep working hard and don't take any wins or anything for granted and just keep being hungry. How excited were you guys to be back on the ice after that break? Very excited. It's been a long time. (laughs) And obviously you've got a lot less travel the second half. That first half was such a grind. Do you kind of go, okay, we've got this? Yeah, I think it's nice because we got all our long road trips out of the way. So it's always nice playing at home in closer games. Carly, what are you majoring in? Math and business. Wow, what are you hoping to do when you're done? Not sure yet. (laughs) We'll see. I hate math, so (laughs) kudos to you. Um, Why did you pick math? Because I've always been good at it, and it's just one subject that I really like. It comes easy. You're lucky. Well, good luck this weekend. Appreciate your time, Carly, and thanks so much. Thank you.